Hi, I'm Claire Schweitzer with the San Francisco Dance Film Festival. Now, before you start making travel plans and preparing outfits for the red carpet, you want to make sure that the film that you've put so much time into is being experienced in the best way possible. In order to do this, you need to export a high quality ProRes file. And we at the San Francisco Dance Film Festival are here to help. This video will walk you through the process of exporting a ProRes file on both Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro and answer some frequently asked questions about technical specifications for cinematic screening. Before we export, let's make sure that all of our video settings are in line. To do this, we can select Sequence and navigate to Sequence Settings. Double check that the time base matches the frame rate of your original footage. Also that the frame size is in your preferred aspect ratio. Double check that the audio is set to two channel stereo. If your film does have surround sound, it's good practice to create a stereo mix for our festival and online viewing. As a final check, make sure your film has a title as well as credits toward the end. Now it is time to export your film. First, make sure that you're sending the film to a location on your computer that is easy to navigate to. As we navigate to video codec, I'm going to shout something from the rafters. We will not accept H.264s for screening. The quality difference between an H.264 and a ProRes file is immense and very noticeable if the film is on a big screen. Select QuickTime as the video format and select Apple ProRes 422 or Apple ProRes 422HQ. Navigate to frame size and select Full HD. Then navigate to field order and select Progressive. Make sure render at maximum depth is selected and that the depth itself is 16 BPC, AKA bits per color. Very importantly, make sure maximum render quality is enabled. This makes a huge difference in quality when scaling 4K to HD. And without this checked, there can be noticeable aliasing in the image. Make sure that your audio sample rate is set at 48,000 Hertz and sample size is at 24 bit. We will go over captions in depth in another video. But for now, toggle captions on if you want them burned in. It's good practice to have one file with them burned in and one without. Now, press the magic blue button and you have your festival ready file. The process of exporting from Final Cut Pro is a little different from Premiere. We've opened the program and we actually want to start a library for your film. So we go to File, New, and Library. We are going to name this library and we can save. Again, unlike Adobe, you actually have to have your settings pretty solid at the beginning of the editing process. So we go to File, New, Project. We have our video format in HD. Your resolution, depending on the resolution that you're editing in, whether that is 1920 by 1080 or a different resolution, like a very stylistic one, you wanna make sure it's in the 1080 range or family. And the frame rate needs to be the same frame rate as your source. Side note, if you are filming 4K footage, you should be editing with the project's resolution set to 4K as well. You can still export the project in HD once it's completed, by right-clicking and duplicating the project and changing its resolution with relation to 1080p. So now we are ready to go ahead and edit. Let's say you've gone through the process, you've edited your film, you're happy with the cut. Now it's time to export. We go to File, Share, and Export File. Now we want to go to our settings and we want to make sure that it's exporting in the format of video and audio and that our video codec is at either Apple ProRes 422 or Apple ProRes 422 HQ. So our resolution, 1920 by 1080, we have a stereo audio, and we are ready to go to the next step. And at this point, we actually want to set a location for where this export is going to live. I like to create a new folder that is specifically dedicated to exports just so I'm keeping those in line. Go ahead and save. And you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner that there's this circle that is telling you the progress. And there we go. 
Now, always, always, always watch your films before you send them. We have received films in the past that are the wrong version, have missing visual effects shots, have sound coming from only one channel, issues that are easy to spot and easy to fix right away. You really don't want the festival tech person to email you and keep emailing you to fix these issues. Here are some frequently asked questions we receive from selected filmmakers. Can't you just convert an H.264 file into a ProRes file? No. The file needs to be exported from the original project with the original media. We want to avoid compression artifacting, which refers to distortion of media. And you really don't want the first moment you notice this issue to be the premier cinematic screening of your film. Do you have any particular naming conventions for files? The name of your movie, underscore, progress, dot, M-O-V. Simple, to the point, you know what you're sending, we know what we're getting. Like we've said, it's important to follow these settings because issues can present themselves in a theater the way they may not on a computer screen at home. Taking these extra steps will be worth it. Now, go and enjoy your film on the big screen.